dad and I started this company and we're an MDOT producer. We produce mostly uh, highway materials, uh, do some asphalt and some concrete plant, landscape, residential. On average, um, we handle about a million yards of material a year. Anything that needs dirt, stone, we try to supply it. I found Tough Med online. I've had it in my machines now for three years and I won't put anything else in. In this area in Michigan, we have a lot of clay, we have a lot of mud, we have, uh, when we strip off the clay, most of our materials left are underwater. We have to constantly be bailing materials from underwater, which anybody that knows the aggregate industry, that is probably about the harshest environment you're going to cross. Our number one failure point is uh, bearings and pins on excavators, especially the, the bucket hitches. The pins and bushings uh, that the OEMs are putting in all the equipment, some are better than others, but they're all basically a steel bushing that's the sacrificial lamb. The ones that are in the dirt and in the environment and take all the extreme loads, they're not holding up. Whether they break and fracture or whether they're, you just can't keep enough lubricant in them, it's a constant failure point. Sometimes uh, bushings can fail, you know, depending on the maintenance schedule, 3,000 hours, maybe an average. When you're out there with the excavator, especially you're down in the bottom of a hole and you grab a hold of a big boulder or a, a chunk of slate, you, you can put extreme forces on those machines. And that's a lot of times, it's not necessarily the every, every movement, but it's the shock loads that I think take out the steel bushings. The tough met material, we put that in there and the, the uh, tolerance stay tight, the grease stays in there, and that, that's what we attribute all the success to. We've got well over 6,000 hours on the machines and the bushings are still tight, the grease stays in there. You're going to pay a little bit more for the tough met material, but maybe a hundred dollars per bushing more in cost to save three times the life plus not to mention all the line boring charges so in anybody knows what line boring is we all try to get away from it anytime we can and we're we hate to bring that guy out there to line bore those machines the cost factor at the end at looking at even the the short long run you know three years down the road is is absolutely well worth the, the extra cost of the, the copper-based alloy.